Hi, thanks for watching. This is going to be a video of how to remove the instrument cluster on a 1985 and a half uh, 944. And uh, we'll start off with removing the steering wheel. Um, so first you have to pull off that um, this rubber cover here and you just have to work it off with firm, firm but gentle pressure. We had it off earlier so it's a little easier for us since we left it half off. Then just unplug that spade connector for the horn. And then, um, what size is that? 24 millimeter. 24 millimeter socket. And then you're gonna need somebody to help you hold the steering wheel steady. Um, so we had it off earlier, so it's easy for us to just remove it now. Um, just make sure you don't lose that washer um, that comes off. And then you can just work it off and you're all set. How's that washer? The next step you'll need to do is remove these screws, these three Phillips head screws, and that'll take off that plate. So we've already actually loosened these up just to keep the video moving. You want to be careful with the cruise control one because it's usually looped through the actual stock. Okay, so the next step uh, is to remove the little Phillips head screws that are inside the vents. There's three of them. There's three of them. Looks like. There's three more screws up underneath the, um, the dash there. So take those out, and we've already loosened the three by the vents. And then there's two more screws there and there on either side of where the steering, the steering column is. So we're using a magnetic tool to grab the screws so we don't lose them from the dash. Yeah. All right, and then we can take the whole thing out. All right, very dusty. Next, we're removing the screws on the um, side of the cluster. And then get the ones on the other side of the cluster. Okay, now that all four screws are pulled out, you just gotta be really careful when you're removing the, um, the gauge cluster because of the wiring in the back. Careful. Give me some light, please. Okay, this, we have to pull that off very carefully. Okay, I'm gonna get a little closer. Yeah, go ahead. So there's tabs. There you go, that's it. And then the ribbon comes off. step is to unscrew all the screws that are around the circuit board. And you lift off the panel and that exposes your gauges. And there's four screws that need to be taken out as well. I'm going to take them all out just in case that falls. Yeah. The teeth are worn on this um, inner gear, the orange one, in the inner row. And so we've purchased a uh, 20 by 21 uh, odometer gear to replace it. So gently pry up on the spinometer needle. And just make sure you don't bend, bend anything there. And then there's some screws that we need to Take out. You remove the screws, you can just take off the faceplate, then you've got your odometer. Now we've got four more screws to take off. This is too big. The four screws are off, you can just lift that cover off. Okay, she'll be and now we've got the gear exposed, which broke actually when we were prodding it, so that was pretty brittle. Interesting to see how this works, but you can see how when this one turns, the other one doesn't doesn't do anything. So we have to take this off. So what we notice is that there's some dirt actually in the cogs. I'm sure that does not help. 
We're just going to clean that off a little bit. Or if you have canned air, this might be a good time to use that. Remove yeah. all the gears, or pretty much, and then you can push out that pin. This is where you have to start. Yeah, you got to start there. And then slide that out. Then you can take out the gears. That's the new gear. Sweet. And just replace the reverse of what you did before. Put the pin in. Now I might need like a pliers or something. I don't okay. know if I can get this on. Let's see, this one's like worn out. I need a new one. Oh, a little clip. This C clip. Like, I was like, I'm like, this just seems like all of a sudden it was like was weak. Okay. Yeah, it's working again. So, since we've got this uh, instrument cluster apart, we decided to replace the bulbs for the, um, for the instrument cluster with some brighter ones. So, we went to Napa and um, got the. Uh, BP-194-N bulbs, which are a little bit brighter and recommended on Clark's Garage. So it just takes a little bit of effort to jiggle these bulbs and get them out. You just gotta be gentle but steady pressure. And you just have to gently push the little clamp back on it. grease on there. So we're replacing the bulbs as well. Um, we were able to find the little bulbs at Napa as well. So to, but they're really hard to pull out. So what we found helps is just pushing this up with just a little bit from the back. It gives you a little bit more of a piece to grip on. And then you have to just wiggle these things And then just do the reverse of what you've done to get everything back together again. And just don't forget any screws. <laughs> See, this seems a little longer. Ooh, very nice. That looks good. Yeah, so, to put it, see very well. so to put everything back together again, just do the reverse of what you uh, did when you started. Thanks for watching.